Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. As we all know, this week there is a planned demonstration in Nairobi dubbed as Nane Nane. Um, Tare Nane will be on Thursday and that is when the Gen Zs are planned in what they say in their poster a mother of all demos in their press releases that is online and the posters you've seen they say they have give they, they are going to give william ruto an ultimatum to resign before 2 p.m now justice and equity council from the uk the united kingdom I've also announced a call for mass protests in Kenya starting on August 8th, 2024. So the Justice and Equity Council from the United Kingdom have also said on 8th they are going to stand in solidarity with the Gen Zs who are calling for reforms in the Republic of Kenya. According to the press release sent into the newsrooms through the group chairman Sebastian Onyango. They say they have been motivated by incompetence and corruption within the Kenyan government. Onyango is criticizing the Kenya National Assembly led by Moses Masika Wetangula for passing a series of controversial uh, laws including the court of appeal repealed finance bill act 2023 the finance act 2024 the punitive cdf act and the proposed livestock act according to the council these laws are unconstitutional and highlight the National Assembly's failure to resist executive pressure and effectively hold the government accountable. Um, to add on this, in my next video, I'm going to show you how the vetting committee was also captured long time ago and how they gave a leakage to the nominees who were being vetted until yesterday. The council from the United Kingdom is raising serious concerns about the actions of the Director of Public Prosecutions, the DPP, accusing the Office of Terminating Corruption and without proper consultation with investigative agencies which they consider an abuse of power. Um, this comes, you understand, the DPP have been different with the ESCC about uh, the graft case that was facing or is facing weekly from Besto Parenya, who is now the CS nominee. They are calling for judicial review of the DPP's conduct and a comprehensive review of all corruption cases dismissed since 2022. The release says the council is urging the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to investigate the financial dealing of cabinet secretaries to ensure transparency and to ascertain whether their wealth is derived from legitimate sources. The council is also focused on the recent appointment of certain cabinet secretaries some of whom are alleged 
to have been involved in corruption or are under investigation by the EACC. They argue that the National Assembly approval of these appointments is a misuse of public resources and contrary to the public interest. In a direct challenge to President Ruto, the council calls for his resignation and the establishment of a caretaker government to oversee new elections by August 2025. They accuse President William Ruto and his advisors of failing to uphold the 2010 constitution and repeatedly neglecting their duty to protect and defend it. They have also criticized the appointment, the reappointment of Professor Kidure Kindiki as the Internal Security Cabinet Secretary has also been condemned by the Council. The Council have raised numerous cases of police brutality, forced disappearances. The latest one is the 247 bodies unclaimed at City Mortuary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is news in the public domain and it's not something to hide. And a lack of accountability during his previous tenure, they stress and state security should prioritize the safety of the Kenyan people, not just government buildings and politicians. On the events of June 25th, 2024, last month, the council has said government's ongoing disregard for public demands for ethical and competent leadership. They are calling for peaceful assembly and picketing from August 8th 2024 until the current administration steps down and new elections are organized. Mm. This is exactly what uh, the Genesis was saying. They were saying on 8th, 8th, that is Tarenane Mwezu Nane, 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 they will be holding peaceful demonstrations in Nairobi and they will give an ultimatum to the president to resign. If we can't resign by 3 p.m., I think, that poster was saying, then they'll be forced to march to state house to occupy. Anyway, all we need to do is pray for our country. We pray for the genesis who are committed in uh, bringing change and reforms. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.